Hey everybody, so we're looking at the Ask Basis um, a Maps Overview again and this time we're focusing in on um, 2012 and this is the HCL and the sodium carbonate uh, titration so 2012 uh, for this one so again we're only focusing in on the maps of us and maps specifically being what formulas we're using and when we're using them so we can ignore A and some of B um, if we look at B there the second part of it there says to calculate the exact mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate required to prepare the solution so we're looking for the mass of um, sodium carbonate okay so grand grand we can manipulate our formulas maybe we can use this one here so you know your number of moles equals your mass of MR we can figure out the MR handy enough of sodium carbonate that's 106 and let's figure out what the mass is of um, the sodium carbonate um, and if we two seconds there we're, sorry we're looking for the mass so therefore we need to figure out what the number of moles is um, so x over 106, what's the number of moles? And if you look at all of this here, and all of it down here or whatever, you can't actually figure out what the number of moles is. Um, you're not given the number of moles, I should say. Uh, we can figure it out in a second, maybe. So we actually don't know what the number of moles is. But we do know that if we are to get the mass, this realistically is the only way of doing so. It's the only way, really. Um, if you look at any of the past equations you've practiced with, this is the main method of getting the mass of a solid. So we actually need to figure out the number of moles is. So if we're reading it here, describe how a student could have prepared 500 centimeters cubed of the 0 0.05 more primary standard solution, that's the sodium carbonate there. So we're, we actually know two pieces of information here. One, we know that there is 500 centimeters cubed, and the second one, we know the, um, the volume, and we know the molarity. Now, formulas we could use. We obviously can't use this formula over here. That's a no-go um, straight off. We can't use our M1, V1, N1 formula simply because we don't have the um, we don't have all the the details that we require for this one. Okay? Um, it's not a titration. Not yet anyhow. Um, but there is another formula we could use and it's a common enough one that students miss out on and that's your number of moles equals your molarity times the volume over a thousand. It will always be a thousand by the way guys. So we actually have all the information here because we said it already didn't we? We said that the number of moles and uh, there we'll write it down. We said the molarity was what was it 0 0.05 and we have the volume um, being 500 and it goes over a thousand and when you do that you're going to get your number of moles to equal what was it 0 0.025 to 0 0.025 I should say so moles there so now we have our number of moles so all you have to do there is just you need to throw this figure up here to uh, throw this figure over here to the number of moles here and very simple then you multiply the number of moles times the MR and you're going to get your mass um, and your mass will equal to 2.65 grams and that's it for the first one there for um, for finding out the, uh, the mass now again just to be careful with this one because lots of students went straight into into a titration that even using the M1, B1, N1 formula but it was no good in this case okay next let's go on we can ignore C and D for the matter and we're going to focus in on E. And E, you're asked to find out the concentration of HCl in terms of moles per litre and grams per litre. So moles per litre first, E part I. Well, if it's in moles per litre, we're looking for the molarity of HCl. And again, we can ask ourselves, what are the formulas? The first one is mass per litre over the MR. But we're not given the mass at all for the H HCl, so that's no good. The second one then is you know your number of moles equals your molarity times the volume over a thousand you know very similar to what we did um, below okay we can manipulate that to get the molarity but we don't know the number of moles of hcl you're not told us okay and if we wanted to figure out the number of moles you know number of moles equals mass over mr or something on those lines we we don't know the mass so we actually can't use that formula there 
So there is one other horn we could use, and that is now using our M1, um, N1, B1, M1, N1 um, formula. Okay, so do out your key first. Double check that you have everything. Okay, I can't stress this enough that this key is absolutely um, crucial. So any two CO3 over here. And it's both of them will divide up into three parts, the same parts. So you have B A, M A, N A, and your B B, M B, N B. Now we're looking for the molarity of HCl. That's what it asks us. HCl, the molarity. So therefore, this is going to be our x. Everything else must be, there must be a value here for it. Okay, if there isn't, we can't do this formula. So, let's have a look at what we're given. So a student um, determined, if we're reading up here, um, concentration of HCl by titration with 25 mils of portions of 0 0.05 of the anhydrous sodium carbonate. Okay. So we know two things for that. First off, that's 25 mils centimeters cubed. And secondly, we know the molarity of it, 0 0.05. Now we continue reading on. The portions of the carbonate were measured in the conical flask with a 25 centimeters cubed um, pipette. That's grand. That's just, um, that's just how they measured the Na2CO3, the volume of it. The hydrochloric acid solution was added from BRS and the mean titration figure was 20.8. So that's our value for the hydrochloric acid. And the final part there, your ends, that's just your ratio. And if you go to your equation over here, you can see it's 2 is to 1. So we have our 2 is to 1 here. And if you do that out correctly, you're going to let your molarity to be equaling to 0 0.12 moles per litre. So that's the answer to the first one. Now... You're asked to get it in terms of grams per liter. Very common formula. All it is is molarity times m or equals grams per liter. Mass per liter, same thing. Okay, so it becomes zero point twelve. Now, even though it's a simple formula, lots of students got this one wrong because what do they do? They use the m or of the um of the Na two CO three because they are so used to using that. So they plugged in 106 straight away and they got the answer wrong because you were asked to calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid solution in grams per litre. So therefore, you're multiplying this by the MOR of hydrochloric acid and the MOR being 36.5. And when you multiply the two of them together, you only get your 4.38 grams per litre. And that's our answer. So again, not um, overly difficult. I find that if you just take it logically go through the different formulas you can use and as soon as you find a formula that you have all the pieces except for one that's the formula you can use and uh, look i hope that helped guys and um, best of luck with the with the revision